Good morning, grade ones. Welcome back. It's lovely to have you here with me today on this chilly day in Cape Town. I wonder what the weather is like where you are. Why don't you look outside the window and see? It's so nice that we're able to go for a walk these days during lockdown. I hope you're managing to get out and quickly run up and down the road and get that energy flowing and then come back and do a little bit more work. So that's my challenge for you today. Take advantage of the time that you're allowed to go outside and I want you to have a quick run with mum or dad or someone watching you up and down the road. Okay, so that you're feeling all energized. And if you've missed the time for today, then you can always um, go tomorrow morning. Okay, so today is a grade one maths lesson with me and my name is Teacher Di. Let's get started. We're going to be studying something very exciting today and it's going to be all about time. Now before we get there, we're going to do our exercises. We've talked about exercising your body and getting all energized and ready for this lesson and counting helps our brain to start thinking about numbers. Okay, we're going to start thinking all in numbers and let's start by counting up to 30. Just one, two, three, four, five in ones up to 30. Okay, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Well done. Can you do that in twos? Can you count in twos? That's called skip counting. So we start at number two and we're going to jump over all the odd numbers for today. And we're going to call that counting in twos all the way to 30. Okay, stay with me as long as you can. Let's try together. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Very good. Now let's count backwards from 20, just in normal one. So from 20, all the way down to one. Okay. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And my, the children in my class would shout, blast off. Okay, let's have a quick look at our number line. So I get some more numbers going and I want you to find number 5 with your eyes. Can you see it? Okay, now I want you to tell me today. What is two more than five? Okay, here's number five. We found it with our eyes. What is two more than five? Are we getting bigger or smaller if we say more? Getting bigger. Okay, so let's jump up two more. One, two. And what is two more than five? Seven. Let's go back to number five. What is two less than five? We're getting smaller now. One, two, two less than five is three. Very good. Very nice. Well done. So we've got number five, two more, seven, two less, three, two more and two less. Okay, let's start talking about time. Firstly, how many days are there in a week? Do you know? We like to sing a song called There Are Seven Days in a Week in our class. Do you know that song? Shall I sing it with you? But I don't really want to sing it by myself. Will you sing with me? Okay, promise. Try. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then we always clap on the day that it is today. So I'm not sure exactly which day you're watching it on, so I can't clap with you. But you need to sing that song and then clap on the day that it is today. Okay, let's try again. 
can you tell me how many days are there in a week? Can you think of the song? Seven, that's right. And what day is it today? I'm not sure for you. For me, it's Tuesday. Tuesday over here. You have to see what day you're watching this video. Maybe you're watching it on Tuesday with me. Then you can clap. Okay, let's sing that song again. There are seven days in a week. Will you clap? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. Saturday. Did you clap with me? Or what day were you watching it on? Okay. What's the time? We now know what day it is. That's also all about time. But I want to know exactly what is the time on the clock. So let's learn how to tell the time. Some of you may have seen a clock before. Some of you maybe not or don't know how to tell the time. So let me explain to you. You have two hands on the clock. No, not real hands. We just call them hands. They actually normally have an arrow on the end. So here's one of our hands, our arrows, and this was the shorter one, and we call it the hour hand. The hour hand tells us what hour we are on in the day. There are 24 hours in the day, and it helps to know which one we're at. The other hand is called the minute hand, and that helps to tell us how many minutes past the hour we are. So on this clock, we can see it's pointing to three. So it's three o'clock. Now the minute hand tick, 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 ticks. And it might be five minutes past three or ten minutes past three. And so the minute hand will give us a bit more detail. So we've got the hour hand. And we look at that shorter hand, that shorter, fatter, stronger hand to tell us what hour in the day we are nearby. So that one's the really important one to notice today. And then the minute hand will give us a bit more detail about that hour. Now, we're not going to learn too much about that minute hand today. We're going to focus on the hour hand. Okay, so there we go. This position, when the minute hand is pointing at the 12, that means it's exactly 3 o'clock. No minutes have passed. The hour is 3, 3 hours, 3 o'clock. And that is when the minute hand is pointing straight up. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, we can't just say, what time is it? It's three. Sounds a bit strange. So we say, three o'clock. It's three o'clock. If that's morning, it's when you're fast asleep in your bed. If that's in the afternoon, that's probably around the time that you've come home from school or sport. Okay, you can see the hour hand is still pointing at the three. So let's try some more. What time is it? It's o'clock, we can tell from the minute hand. The hour is pointing at the 12, so it's 12 o'clock. Great. And now we've got the o'clock, we can see. So what hour is it pointing at? 1 o'clock. Very good. You tell me, what's the time? Two o'clock. Very good. And now, three o'clock. Next. Okay, they're a bit mixed up now. Did you want to just guess four o'clock? It's not. What hour is it pointing to? Five o'clock. Right. Five o'clock. Now, Four o'clock. Has the minute hand moved? Nope, it's still right at the twelve. If it moved even one little one little bit, we would have to say it's one minute past four. Or five minutes past four. Five past four. You might have heard people talk like this. Five past four, ten past three. But today we're just talking about o'clock. It hasn't moved. Four o'clock. Next one. Nine o'clock. Very good. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, great, aha, it's in a straight line, what hour is it pointing to, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 
Very good. Now let's move on to our last um, thing to solve for today. It's a word problem, a story sum. And we are going to do a story sum all about time. And we've got some pictures to help us. So I'll read to you. You can follow along if you can. Sam went to the shops at two o'clock. He got back at four o'clock. How long was Sam at the shops? Okay, so we know that Sam went to the shops. We don't know how long, but we are told that he left his house at two o'clock and he only got back at four o'clock. He was at the shops for quite a while. I hope he was wearing his mask. Okay, okay let's have a look. Two o'clock, so the clock would have had to go around one hour, would have got to three o'clock, and a whole nother hour, and that would be four o'clock. So how many hours then? Two, that's right. Sam was at the shops for two hours. Well done. I'm very proud of you. You did such a good job today. Now your challenge is to go and find a clock, maybe in your kitchen, or maybe someone in your home is wearing a watch. And I want you to go and see what is the shorthand pointing to? What hour is it? Okay, and if it's near the o'clock, that would be a bonus because then you can tell the time exactly. But for now, I just want you to go and find a clock, look for the hour hand, and you see what hour of the day it is. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this time maths lesson with me brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. And I hope that you will go online now and download the activity sheet that I've prepared for you and see if you can tell me what time is it on those clocks. Okay, I'll see you here again tomorrow. Have a lovely day.